Good morning and welcome to Morning Math with the Gallaghers. I'm Mrs. Gallagher. Grant Gallagher. And Grant Gallagher. And uh, Grayson is joining us today as well. Don't forget for spring break, we're encouraging you guys to go outside, uh, take some sidewalk chalk out with you and you know, make some, make some math. So our hashtag for this week is hashtag math walk. And don't forget if you do a math walk uh, to tag me on Twitter at Matthew Nerd and we'll show you what today's math walk is. So we got all of our prompts today from this website, which one doesn't belong. We'll show you the actual website at the end. The really cool thing about this website is, you know, it's not all math. Uh, there's shapes, there's letters, there's pictures. Um, which one doesn't belong? It has a lot of things that aren't, aren't necessarily math related. It's all about your reasoning. So the prompt for today's math walk is, of the four items, which one doesn't belong and why doesn't it belong? And so we each picked our own, uh, which one doesn't belong that we wanted to do and we drew it on the ground. So the first up is Grayson. So Grayson, come and tell us about your, which one doesn't belong. Um, I have two answers. Good. And first, um, we right here. Oh yeah, so one hint that we gave people is there's no wrong answer. And so actually for each of these, which one doesn't belong, it doesn't matter which one you choose. As long as you give us a good reason for why it doesn't belong. So, so what are your two answers? Me one of them. Okay, what's one of them? Um, um, there's two answers for this one. Oh, okay. It's the only answer that's being squared by its squared root. That's what Grant said. That's cool. And I said the only it's the only one that was being squared by three. Oh yeah, nine. So nine is a perfect square because it is three squared, yep. right? Because the square root of nine is three. Because three times three equals nine. That's great, I love it. Rather than so only in first, I mean third grade. You're not in first. third grade, not first, first grade. Okay, so that's why the nine X to the third maybe doesn't belong. Do you remember why maybe 45 doesn't belong? Yeah, it's why? the only one countable by fives. Oh, it's the only one countable by fives. Three equals 27. Yeah. And three definitely can count up to three. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's pretty cool. Three and three times three is nine and nine times three is 27. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. It is. All right. So that's just a couple of the reasons why some of these don't belong. And again, you can pick any of the four that don't belong. Right? Grant, do you want to do yours? Yours is up next. All right. I'll do mine. Okay. All right. I have reasons for... Each one of these, why? Why it's different from the others? Yes. Okay, oh. which one do you want to start with? This, this one. is the only one that's not shaded in. Okay, this it's not shaded only, in. This is the only one with an ant. <laughs> no, seriously, I know, there's an ant on it. Let him answer. Two ants now. Um, and this is the only one that, this is the only 3D shape. And also, it's the only one made made up of other shapes okay this one because it's an irregular it's an irregular polygon um, oh i like that vocab words irregular polygon what makes it irregular um yes you can have sun at me yeah so a regular polygon many shapes that we should know like we don't really know what it it's not a called. standard it's it's one two three well, it's a pentagon kind of a pentagon it is definitely a pentagon it's not a regular pentagon a regular pentagon would have all equal sides yes equal yes equal side yes um usually the equal sides that's the only one is that has that has only right angles that's also a 2d shape that um and most shapes have to have some kind of right that's an acute angle yeah it, it, when it's drawn flat, it's just an acute angle, but when we look at it in three dimensions, it's probably a 90 degree angle. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, and then I picked mine. Okay. So the great thing also about which one doesn't belong is it doesn't have to be math. It could be anything. So I picked letters. So I'm going to start with the letter K. The letter K is the only letter that's drawn in this box that does not have an encircled spot. So there's no like circle closing it off. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And B has two circles. 
Um, anything else? Can you guys uh, think of other ones? This, this is the only one that's two sides of of another of a different. Well, no. This, what do you mean? Piece. Just a half. It's two a half. sides. One, the line two, and the circle, and one. it just needs one more circle, huh? It just needs this circle. Oh. Mm -hmm. right what about symmetry? Symmetry, symmetry. A lot of these have horizontal symmetry, where you could fold them in half. Uh, hamburger style and they would fold oh, onto each other but not peas. This, this is the I only that oh, all this is oh. this is the only this is the only one that doesn't that doesn't have a line of symmetry. Doesn't have a line of symmetry, yeah. Why are they all alike, line. Gray? Actually no line of symmetry on this one either. Well the way I drew it, no. Sometimes you can draw it so there's yeah, symmetry. Yeah, sometimes this one is definite. Like, yeah. Okay, Grayson, why are they all alike? They're all alike because um, they all have lines on the, um, where you stop making them. Yeah, they all have vertical lines, don't they? Oh, this, oh, is, the oh, this is the only one with okay, three lines. Okay, but we can go on forever, right? So let's... Three, lines. three straight no. lines. One. Let's go ahead and call it a day, kids. Remember that this is hashtag MathWalk. Oh. I'm at MathyNerd on Twitter. Um, we got all of these from which one doesn't belong. Um, so they're also on Twitter, which one doesn't belong math. And then their website, which one doesn't belong dot C-A. Um, so you can join us later. And what do we say at the end? Up then and bye.